The running joke across the NFL is that if the Philadelphia Eagles get inside the five-yard line, Jalen Hurts is going to score the touchdown. Yep. He's going to do it with his legs. Nobody else on the Eagles is going to score. So if the Eagles need a little bit of uh, maybe a couple tips on how to get somebody else, maybe DeAndre Swift in the end zone. Yeah, Oregon absolutely. State has got it uh, marked down, and, and you're breaking it down for us. No, I love this. I mean, you're starting to see the, the tush push, as they, they love to call it, seep its way into the college game. And so you see Oregon State with a with, with a wrinkle off of it. They ran the quarterback sneak early in, in the first quarter, and they come out with a wrinkle here. They sneak Silas Bolden into the game. You're not usually going to have a 160-pound guy be your hammer to push it, so a great little sub by them. You get a great setting of the edge from those two. One of the things you can do offensive football, the basics, condense to expand. If you want to go outside, bring everybody inside first. They do a great job setting the edge, and then they pull out the tight end, right? You get a big guy on a small guy. You can look at that, and, and that's a Utah player, but he's having a bad time. Corners are still corners. They don't want to tackle. F great finish there, touchdown block, and then, yeah, it's just a sprint to the end zone. Really fun little wrinkle off of what is becoming a really popular play. All right, Silas Bolden, he's really fast. So what you're saying is that they probably wouldn't throw me in there to try and push DJ across Probably the line. not. I, that'd be more my role out of the two of us, <laughs> I feel like. I see. We all need a role. Well, okay, let's talk about Oregon a little bit here. Um, we're, it's fun because we get to break down two different plays sure. for two different teams tonight. Um, help me out with my Madden game a little bit here. This is option offense here. Yeah, uh, yeah option, option defense, defense for Oregon. I love option defense. Even though I'm an offensive coach, this is kind of where, this is the backbone of all defense now, nowadays. You've got to understand who's got dive who's got quarterback, who's got pitch. So right here, we're going to get a triple option look. Lamson, he's going to work downhill. They don't block the end. I believe that's doorless. You're going to get a pitch, and this is actually what we would call load, right? So they've got a lead blocker coming off the edge, and Oregon actually outnumbered here. This is a really nice play call for Stanford. I bet they loved this one on the whiteboard during the week. So here, Dorless, the, the D lineman, he's going to have dive, which would be quarterback in this instance. And then Hill is going to run through blocker to pitch. Jackson up top, I believe that's Jackson. He's going to have pitch as well. So basically, you've got three for two here if you're Oregon, but you got to run. You got to close that space. Gets off, get that gets off the block. That's actually Nico Reed. I'm sorry, Nico, right? Get off the block and finish through. One of the things I really love there, too, is Bossa running from quarterback through to pitch. That's tremendous effort out of him and how you need to teach it, right? He can kind of slow play quarterback into pitch. Good stuff from their defense. And like I said earlier, Oregon allows 12 points over two weeks. Impressive stuff, and the Ducks have a bye week now. 